Psych2Go is a digital media organization that raises mental health awareness by presenting psychological topics in a digestible and relatable manner. Please share our content with those who need it. All couples and potential couples have their doubts from time to time. It's only natural to ask ourselves whether we're with the right person. So are you needlessly worrying or is there really something wrong with the relationship? Here are seven signs you may be with the wrong person. One, you're constantly unhappy. Remember, loving relationships are supposed to be some of the most enjoyable parts of life. If you're constantly unhappy while in a relationship, you may be with the wrong person. This is especially true if you're feeling unhappy even when you're hanging out together and going on dates. Two, you're experiencing high levels of stress. Aside from feeling unhappy, relationships can also be a source of stress for many people. While it's natural to worry about our relationships from time to time, there comes a point when the stress becomes a cause for alarm. Ask yourself whether the relationship is making you feel relaxed or whether the scale is being tipped more towards anxiety and worry. Three, your expectations are not being met. Everyone has their own vision of what a perfect partner is. Inevitably, we end up modifying those expectations to fit the partners that we meet. But how much are you willing to compromise? According to ideas explored in the developmental course of marital dysfunction, couples naturally adapt their expectations and come to terms with the fact that they're not quite with their dream partners. If you can't see yourself adapting to your partner's negative traits, then you might be with the wrong person. Four, you knew there were problems at the very beginning. On that same note, couples are usually willing to adapt to each other during the initial stages of the relationship. Research has shown that people naturally ignore each other's negative traits during the initial courtship phase. In many cases, people willingly ignore serious and obvious personality flaws. Think back to the beginning of the relationship and ask yourself whether you notice negative traits that have become more prominent and noticeable as the relationship advanced. You could be coming out of the honeymoon phase and starting to notice serious issues that were previously sidestepped. 5. Your gut tells you something is off, but you can't seem to pinpoint it. Sometimes it's best to listen to your instincts. Being able to explain to yourself or your partner why you don't feel content isn't always essential. If you feel a nagging, constant voice telling you that you're with the wrong person, you might want to listen to that voice. Although our subconscious mind can often point us in the right direction, its messages don't necessarily form coherent words and signs. Sometimes it's best to simply listen to your gut. Six, your partner doesn't seem very conscientious. A 2004 study published by the Journal of Family Psychology attempted to link certain personality traits with marital satisfaction. Researchers found a connection between a number of personality traits and unsatisfied couples. And one trait was lowered conscientiousness. Additional traits linked with dissatisfaction included high neuroticism and lowered agreeableness. If you're starting to wonder whether you might be with the wrong person, you might want to ask yourself whether or not your partner has any of these traits. Low levels of conscientiousness should be fairly obvious. In other words, lazy people may not be the best partners. But hey, if you're one of them, it doesn't mean that you can't change. 7. You're too similar. You've probably heard the old saying, opposites attract. But is there any science behind this? Well, a 2007 study found that greater overall personality similarities do have an effect on relationships, and not necessarily positive ones. As similar couples spend more time together, the data suggests that a downward slope is more likely compared to couples who have very different personalities. Researchers also found that couples who had similar levels of extroversion were even more likely to experience dissatisfaction down the road. Other possible signs can include not sharing the same values, you don't feel like you can be you around them, or something just feels off. But at the end of the day, only you can decide whether or not you're with the right or wrong person. As we mentioned previously, sometimes you just have to listen to your gut and follow your emotions. While these points can point us in the right direction, it's important to find your own reasons for making such a big decision. Did you enjoy this video? Can you relate to any of these signs?